Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Zabilon and today we're gonna talk about the Segundo Volante row in FM24. Why is it one of my favorite? What you can expect of a Segundo Volante in defense, in transition and attack? What kind of players we can use there? What are the important attributes? Some tips and tricks about the tactics and how they can benefit your team. We're gonna have a look at an example as well to show it more clearly. So, let's go. Alright, the Segundo Volante is a defensive midfielder row available on support and attack. Now, defensive midfielder, what does this mean? We always have to remember that the setup we see on our screens when we're setting up our tactics is the defensive shape that we're gonna have. This is where our player is gonna be doing their defending and this is where they're gonna be starting their attacking movement. In transition, in attack, different story, we're gonna get back to it, but in defense, this is where they are. So, the Segundo Volante in defense, he's gonna act as a defensive midfielder, which means he's gonna be somewhere in front of our defense. Is he gonna be protecting it like some other players will? Not really. He's not the halfback, he's not the anchor, he's not the defensive midfielder, ball-winning midfielder, or even deep line playmaker on defense. They're gonna be sometimes dropping even between your center halves. They're gonna be acting as an integral part of your defense. The Segundo Volante, he's gonna hold his ground, he's gonna be there, and depending on his work rate, his marking, his tackling, he's gonna be providing defensive action for you. But he's not the one that's gonna be protecting your defense. Now, the moment we get the ball, the Segundo Volante turns into an entirely different animal. This is where he thrives. This is one of the most dangerous roles on counterattack in transition. Now, the Segundo Volante, the moment you get the ball, he has no idea about like keeping it, passing it around, playing it short with the other midfielders, passing it maybe with the center halves or the wingbacks. No, 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 none of that. None of that. The moment he sees your team winning the ball in defense, the only thing on his mind is running forward, running forward and trying to get the ball in his feet and maybe do one of two things. Either dribble with it, cover a lot of ground, Try to create something on the counter-attack or find a dangerous pass. Now, if these options are not available, according to his ability to make smart decisions, maybe he's gonna hold the ball, pass it backwards and start a slow attack. But the first thing on the Segundo Volante's mind in transition is how can I be dangerous? So we failed to create a chance in transition and now we are in a slow build-up attack like we are trying to break down the opposition they are stacked in their own half and what does the segundo volante do there answer is it kind of depends it depends on the other roles you have in the team for example if you have let's say no cms and no attacking midfielders you will often find the segundo volante occupying the spaces in front of the opposition defense where you would naturally see an attacking midfielder or a more expansive CM role. So if you're, for example, playing a 4-4 and one of the players you have in the defensive midfielder positions is a Segundo Volante, don't be surprised that he's going to be acting as a attacking midfielder or advanced playmaker or even sometimes a shadow striker, because one of the things that you can see when you read the description of Segundo Volante is that they love arriving late at the box. And this is one of the things that shadow strikers do, but in earlier phase of the game. So the Segundo Volante, he will be trying to create, again, something dangerous when he gets on the ball. And if he's not capable of doing that when you're now in a slow build of phase, they will be acting more as a playmaker. So... When they get the ball and they see that like I'm closed down, I cannot create anything here. I cannot really dribble and run with the ball. There is not a corridor that I can utilize. They're passing it backwards. So the Segundo Volante in a slow build-up phase is going to act very different in different situations. You can expect for them to act as sometimes a shadow striker even. You can expect of them to occupy attacking midfielder positions that are empty and there is no one else there in the field, they're going to be utilizing the space. You can even expect them to be participating in the ball playing part of the game. Therefore, 
the Segundo Volante is one of the most versatile positions on the pitch. And what does this mean? Of course, in terms of attributes, they need to be a very, very well-rounded player. Which brings us to the question, who is the perfect Segundo Volante? And my honest answer is maybe Jude Bellingham, but what makes him the perfect Segundo Volante? My opinion is that he is the perfect Segundo Volante because... First of all, his athleticism, he's someone that has the work rate, the stamina, the pace acceleration required to run forward, get backwards, run forward, get backwards. He's someone that will be utilizing his smartness, he's someone that he's going to be utilizing his decisions in every area of the field. He's going to be scoring goals thanks to his goal scoring prowess. He's someone that is going to be utilizing his defensive capabilities because he's going to be actually starting his defending as a defensive midfielder. He is going to contribute to all phases of the game tremendously. But now, the other question is, is the best role for someone like Jude Bellingham to be playing as a Segundo Volante? And the answer is no, no, of course not. And that's why the most important question to me actually is, what kind of players... You can use a Segundo Volante. And I'm gonna answer it backwards. Who am I not gonna use ever as a Segundo Volante? First of all, someone that has low shooting. They will be finding themselves in places where they need to shoot. They're gonna miss chances. You're gonna get frustrated. Don't do that. Someone that has very low work rate. Not a great idea. Like, you need them... To have this thing going forward, coming backwards, and helping. Think of them as a glorified box-to-box -box midfielder. You need them to work hard. You need an Alexis McAllister. You need someone that is going to live his heart and soul on the field. So, very low work rate. Not going there. By the way, I'm not saying numbers. Because it depends on the league you play. It depends on the level of the players you have in the squad. And the level of the players you're playing against. Therefore, you gotta find the sweet spot. So I'm gonna be saying the same thing. Below average shooting, not great. Below average work rate, not really. Below average defending, and in that I mean marking, tackling, and positioning, not really, because they will be defensive midfielder. You need them to actually do something there, not just like be a body in front of your midfield. And in terms of athleticism, I need them to be athletic. If they're really slow, they have low stamina, low pace, low strength, not my thing. I'm not using a guy like that as Segundo Volante. And now, height. At least average height. Like, everyone who is below 178, I will refrain from using as a Segundo Volante. Someone that is very weak in terms of strength and weight as well. This is someone... That, first of all, remember, he's going to be defending as defensive midfielder. He needs to win headers. He needs to be able to actually be there for you when the goalkeeper is kicking it long. If he loses every single header, getting from the opposition half, you're going to be so very frustrating to say, Zabilon, why did you make me play this guy as a Segundo Volante? Nope, don't use him. If he's not capable of winning headers... Just don't use him there. He's a defensive midfielder. He, first of all, he's a defensive midfielder. But he's also a transitional player. Therefore, he needs all these other things. And everything else is complementary. Like, everything we've said so far, keep in the back of your mind. Think of someone like Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, not a perfect example. But in transition and in attack, Bruno Fernandes is a segundo volante. This is what he does. When the ball gets to him... Oh, sorry. When Man United lose the ball... What is the first thing that Bruno Fernandes thinks about? It's like, uh, should I be available for defense to get the ball in my feet? Maybe play to look show? No, 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 no. The first thing in Bruno Fernandes' mind when he sees Harry Maguire carrying it to Aaron Wambisaka is, oh my, woohoo, it's my time. Here we go, baby. I gotta find some space where I can receive the ball. And I can be dangerous. I'm going to be turning my body towards the position half. And I'm going to be looking where I can pass it. Or if I can run with it. 
And this is what he does. And this is where he's brilliant. Bruno Fernandes is one of the best transitional players in the world. This is where he thrives. So think of your Segundo Volante as someone like that. But because he stars his attacking movement as a defensive midfielder, you also need him to be someone who's <laughs> capable of doing some defending. Some defending. So, before we get to checking some actual footage of this guy playing for me as a Levski Sofia manager on stream, winning multiple Champions League titles, we actually can talk about something else. And it is what kind of players you can repurpose, retrain, and use as Segundo Volantes. Because honestly, when you go out there in the market, there is very rarely a player that is. His best role is Segundo Volante. Therefore, we can be smart about it. And this is where we can be geniuses in the footballing manager world and is repurposing players from our positions. A lot of the times in Football Manager, we find ourselves in positions where the talent available for us on the market right now is not really a great player suitable to just slot in the positions that we need someone and produce great numbers. But... One of the things that we can do is have a look at the other players we have in the squad and think about repurposing players. That's why. I really, I really think that this is one of my biggest strengths in FM. Being able to repurpose players from one position to another so that if a couple of similar players become available in the market or are very similar to what I already have as talent in the squad. But I really dig the players. They're great players. But I don't really need three attacking midfielders, uh, three great attacking playmakers or something because I'm playing currently a shadow striker and a uh, advanced forward. Nah, I don't need three playmakers behind the striker. So what can I do with them? Now, a couple of ideas. First idea, a pressing forward. Someone that is obviously already fast enough, capable enough to withstand the physical aspect of being someone that's going box to box. They already have the work rate. Obviously, they have some defensive capabilities because if they're a pressing striker, they're obviously like capable of tackling, capable of getting the ball from the oppositions and they're capable of finishing. So a great idea. Repurpose a pressing forward. If you have a couple of them, one of them is Segundo Volante. Second idea, an athletic, deep-lying playmaker with some shooting. They're gonna do the job for you. They have the work rate, they have the vision to create stuff on the counter, they have the athleticism to cover the ground, and when they find themselves in the position to shoot it, they will actually score. Third idea, an out-and-out -out winger. Have too many of them? One of them with some defensive capabilities. And by the way, this is a Champions League winning side. And this guy with the 7 tackling and 11 marking, he used to play a Segundo Volante for me in some games. Just because he is already pacey enough, he is stronger-ish. He has some height, according to everything I said so far. He has some work rate. So when I needed someone to slot in the position, he can actually do the job. Fourth idea. Someone that is actually very, 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 very good attacking midfielder, shadow striker even, but you have too many of them. So this guy, for example, I've used him as Segundo Volante and he did the job, if you can imagine. Yes, four tackling and nine marking at the highest level means that he's gonna be contributing absolutely nothing in defense. But in attack, he's gonna be creating chances. He's gonna be scoring goals for you. So it depends on the position you're playing against. Yeah, I'm not going to be using this guy against every position out there, but against some teams. Yep, definitely. This is another attacking player that he's actually starting from deep. He's going to produce some cover and he's going to be another creator up front. Great stuff. And last but not least, the craze of them all. Complete forwards playing as Segundo Volante on attack. Obviously, this guy, I haven't used him like this. His marking and tackling are too low, and I had other players to do the job. But in FM23, I actually had a team where I had three or four players of great attacking talent. They were all capable of doing it all in uh, front positions, but how can I play them all together, four of them? And one of the guys had 10 tackling, 11 marking, or something like that. It was a you're a wonder kid, capable of covering a lot of ground thanks to your work rate and athleticism. You are a great 
they are in front of goal and honestly at one point i used two complete forwards as attacking segundo volantes and one of them scored 20 plus goals in a season so repurposing complete forwards as segundo volantes if you are on that level amazing results now before we finally dive into the footage of an actual segundo volante doing a thing in a game against Real Madrid let's have a tactical brief about what you can expect and what you can do and what you probably shouldn't do so the segundo volante defensive midfielder never play them as a lone defensive midfielder you're always going to need someone that is alongside them that's going to be holding the ball someone that is going to be looking to receive from the defenders and the wing backs play it safely build up the game the segundo volante a runner think about them like as i told you already bruno fernandes yeah if you force him he's gonna try and be there but but not his thing not his thing so never ever use a segundo volante alone as a dm he's not gonna do the job for you you're gonna get frustrated if you're the best attacking side in the world maybe you can do it but just don't it won't give you the results you need second thing and this is the most important i told you already segundo volantes are someone that is gonna be one of your main players when you're playing counter-attacking football they are one of your main threats when you're in transition what this means is you never never ever ever wanna restrict their passing range well if you have someone that sucks as segundo volante and has no passing and no vision well you shouldn't be playing the segundo volante in the first place so if you have a segundo volante you don't want to reduce their passing range and the easiest way to reduce their passing range is by selecting play out of defense you have to be aware the play out of defense what it does is that it sets the passing range of all of your players that are playing in your defensive line and your defensive midfielders to shorter by default shorter passing is now a setting for our segundo volante the moment that we chose play out of defense and it's finally time to show you some actual footage from a game Real Madrid versus Levski. yeah you can see we lost this one 6-5 amazing game you can check out the video somewhere in the YouTube library that I have so far but we're gonna be focused on the guy called Kautau Della this is our segundo volante right now I'm gonna be pausing and I'm gonna be commenting on what he does so first of all Real Madrid are gonna be having right now a goal kick let's see what happens They play short. Our guy Kauta Odella. By the way, defensive midfielder. This is an attacking playmaker. This guy's advanced forward. By the way, check his defensive position. He's too high right now, by the way. And here he is. Okay, here he is. Defensive midfielder finds himself in a position where the press of the defense, because this guy is a center half. This guy is also a center half. And he is the one getting the rebound. What's he gonna do with it? Pass it backwards to the goalkeeper. Here he is, recycling possession. But what did he do right after the pass? He went forward. The moment he passed it backwards, he was like, nope, I'm not staying here. I'm not trying to participate in the build-up because I think this guy is the playing playmaker right now. The playing playmaker, he's going backwards, he's gonna be someone trying to help the goalkeeper, the sweeper keeper and the defense build up from behind. The moment Kota Odella passed it backwards, his first thought, I'm gonna run forward. And here he is in a position where he is kind of expecting to receive the ball. His body is turning away where he is ready the moment he receives it. So if this is a first time pass by Ross to Kata Odella. he's just gonna move it onto his right foot and run forward with it now he does not receive the ball what's he doing he's roaming here he's waiting for the ball he's waiting for the ball he is oh 
a run. The moment the ball moved forward, he's now, oh my, we are attacking. I gotta get up front. You see, we lose it. He's like, uh, he's making a run. He's like, oh, okay, we lost it. I gotta get backwards. By the way, in this moment in time, this guy is an advanced forward. This is a segundo volante. This guy here is advanced playmaker. And here we have the complete forward. So the complete forward and the advanced playmaker are both kind of on the same line with the segundo volante. The defenders are on the ball. The deep line playmaker gets it. Now segundo volante gets backward. He receives the ball. He does not make himself available. He passed it backwards, but he was never like, okay, I'm, I'm going to become available to the defender to give it back to me. Now he's kind of there. He's roaming. He receives it. The moment he received it, he passed it. And his first thought, run forward, run forward. Now he's running. Now he's running. There is a counterattack. Burello, Burello scores. Look at where Cataldele is when we score the goal. We have a complete forward, advanced forward. This guy, I'm pretty sure he's kind of a winger or inside forward right now. So he is the fourth player highest up the pitch for us. This guy is the advanced playmaker. So the moment we were transitioning and we were getting forward, the thing he did was run forward, maybe wait for the rebound and try to participate arrive late in the box and for example if we miss the chance he would have been there first and not really the advanced playmaker so that's it thank you very much for watching this guide on how we use segundo volantes did i miss something there is something wrong how are you using segundo volantes how do you repurpose other players for segundo volantes because i'm sure i missed a hundred a gazillion things about segundo volantes they're absolutely a great utility player and um i tried to keep it brief i couldn't it's still a long video so let me know what you think in the comments below and see you next time bye bye